Plant sexual life cycle is more complex than animals. Plants have two distinct multicellular adult forms, one diploid and one haploid, that give rise to each other. Diploid and haploid adults alternate in the life cycle. Thus, it is called alternation of generations. Plants have the same basic pattern, but with different degrees of dominance of the different forms. The diploid adult form, the sporophyte, bears reproductive cells that undergo meiosis to produce haploid spores. In ferns, spores from one parent fall onto soil, germinate, and grow by mitosis to form a multicellular haploid organism. This independent organism, the gametophyte, produces gametes. Usually it produces both sperm and eggs, but at different times to prevent self-fertilization. Gamete fusion forms a zygote that develops into a new diploid sporophyte. In some seed plants, two spore types form by meiosis within flowers of the sporophyte. Spores develop into gametophytes within the flower. The megaspore develops inside the ovule of the ovary into the female gametophyte. It is a small cluster of cells called the embryo sac. One cell is the egg. The female gametophyte is retained within the flower. The microspore develops into the male gametophyte. This is a tough, watertight pollen grain containing two cells, a large tube cell and a smaller generative cell. After dispersion to a recipient flower, the tube cell of the pollen grain elongates to form a pollen tube. As it burrows toward the female gametophyte in the ovary, the generative cell divides mitotically to form two sperm cells. When the pollen tube reaches an ovule, it breaks into the embryo sac and releases two sperm. One fertilizes the egg cell to form a zygote. The second sperm becomes part of the endosperm, food storage for the embryo. The zygote becomes enclosed in a thin, tough, waterproof outer covering, the seed coat, to form a drought-resistant seed.